So, hi guys, today I'm back with another bullet journal video. So, today we're planning my spreads for September. I always start with the title page, and as this month marks the beginning of autumn, I thought an autumnal theme would be quite fitting. So I've drawn some acorns, some berries, a pine cone, a sycamore leaf, some other different leaves, and some swallows. This month I decided to dabble in watercolour painting in my journal for the first time. I think it went quite well, I definitely need some more practice, but I really do like the larger leaf I painted. Then I've done some swallows as they remind me of autumn evenings with them flying around the sky. I pre-drew these drawings as it takes me quite a while to draw as I'm not naturally gifted at art. And now I'm decorating them. I went over a few of the pictures I've just done with a little more detail because I wanted them to be a little bit more defined. I'm now writing out the name of the month, which is obviously September. Now I'm drawing out my daily gratitude tracker, which I incorporate into every month. I write in it the things that make me happy on each day, whether it's a big event or just a small achievement. So now I'm drawing out my calendar just like I did last month, again inspired by this girl called Holly. I add a little bit of colour to it to make it a little more interesting. I'm also making the title a little more interesting than last month's one. I decided to make it a little more bold, rather than just writing it down with a felt tip. Then again I added some swallows as they're super easy to draw and I thought they'd look cute. Now I decided to use watercolour again to decorate my calendar and add a little bit more colour and then I added in the days of the month. So just like last month, I decided to incorporate a quote into this spread to go with my theme for 2018, which is achievement, and I thought this one fit it quite well. Now I'm adding a little YouTube subscriber tracker. I'm not really a person to care about numbers and things like that, but I thought it would be interesting to write it down regardless. Next I'm drawing out my YouTube trackers. This will hopefully encourage me to make more videos. That's the plan anyway. So I writing on each film, edited, thumbnail, uploaded to help me keep track of the different steps of making each video. Then I've done a monthly to-do list to help me keep track of my longer term goals. Now, on to the weekly spread. If you saw my last video, this is how I've regularly set up my weeks for the whole year. It's quite basic, but it works for me. I 
as this month starts with a Saturday, this has left me with quite a lot of free space, so I'm going to put my sleep tracker in the corner as I did last month. Which I actually found super effective, so we'll definitely keep in my weeklies. I will draw out the rest of my month but this shows you a brief overview of how I lay it out. I tend to put four boxes across the top and three at the bottom, one for each day of the week. So to fill the empty space, I'm adding some habit trackers to this first weekly spread of the month. I found these quite useful last month, but they really did show that I'm better at some habits than others, so I'm hoping continuing to use them will help me change my ways. We'll see about that. <laughs> So that's my September bullet journal spreads. It's quite simple, but they really work for me. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.